Hi, how are you? Just thought I'd check in and see if you've got anything rough going on in life right now. Because if you do, uh, or you're just coming out of a rough patch, then this one's going to be for you. It's called How Ease and Grace Help You Recover from Adversity. I'm Sage. I'm a growth coach. And I think we need to understand that although we have a lot of free will and a lot of say in life, we can't predict all the twists and turns and curveballs and and waves that might crash. And sometimes we might have days and days or weeks and months of tough times just back to back to back. And when we finally start seeing a glimmer of light or of hope, it gets tough because we want to just like come out of the gates going full steam and we want to like just get back to feeling like ourselves. And I think that that um, is a good intention, but that sometimes that can make us kind of fall on our faces because it might be, you know, too much too fast. And I think as humans, we tend to have a lot more grace for the people around us than we do for ourselves. And that's what, you know, today's video is about, is how do we increase some of that grace for ourselves? Now, let me tell you this quote, to offer no resistance to life is to be in a state of grace, ease, and lightness. And that's by Eckhart Tolle. So are you forcing or flowing in life? Or forcing and flowing with life? Can you remember a time when you went with the flow in life and everything unfolded wonderfully? So what if we could get better at going with the flow and life's waves and, you know, up our ease and grace for ourselves? Well, here's five ways to add more ease and grace to your life to help you recover from a tough time or from adversity. So here's number one, make sleep a priority. All right, I'm not just saying this to you, I'm saying it to me, I need some sleep too. This is the number one fix because uh, if you have a good sleep routine and you get to bed and catch back up on rest, you actually start feeling like yourself again and you can actually hear your heart in your spirit instead of just constant chaos because you're you're just glitching all the time. We really need to stop all these weird like sleep stigmas. Like, oh, you went to bed that early or oh, you slept that long. Like we need to get over that and if you need to go to bed at 7:30, go to bed at 7:30. If you need to sleep in till noon, sleep in till noon. Listen to your body and actually rest. Because how many times are we running 90 different directions and we're certainly not resting? So make a sleep a priority. Okay, so the next one is ask for help. It takes a village. It takes a village to not only raise children, but it also takes a village just to like navigate this life. And we shouldn't always be trying to do it all on our own. Stop trying to do it all on your own. Ask for help. Ask for help. And I bet you people will line up to be there for you. Okay, number three, consume some healing foods. Lots of times when we start getting frayed out and life is really chaotic, we're grabbing anything and every we can, anything and everything we can on the run. And obviously a lot of that um, type of food is just stripped of nutrients. So just instantly try and work on basing your diet out of fruits and vegetables and like healing herbal teas and just pump a bunch of that stuff back into your body so that you can, um, your body actually has the nutrients it needs to help you reset um, while you're sleeping and resting. Okay, foods from the earth. Don't forget that, eat foods from the earth. Number four is choose to make time for joy. Watch a funny movie, play with some little kids, um, play with your puppy. Smile and laugh as much as possible. Life isn't meant to feel this heavy all the time. 
So, so find some joy, find some joy. And then number five, choose to be grateful. Maybe you have just come out of months and months of bad events piled together. Maybe it's really hard to see the silver lining right now. Then choose to be grateful for the basic things. If, if your life is a total storm right now, choose to be grateful that you woke up this morning. Choose to be grateful that you are breathing right now. Choose to be grateful that you've got a roof over your head or food to eat and start there until you have something else to be grateful for. But when you're putting that energy out, it's going to send, um, there's going to be more energy sent to you that uh, is more things to be grateful for, right? So it's really important that we increase our ability to flow with the turns and twists of life by uh, adding more ease and grace through making sleep a priority, ask for help, consume healing foods, choose to be, or excuse me, make time for joy and choose to be grateful. You do that and you up your ease and grace for yourself and the universe has an amazing plan for us. We just need to choose to flow with the plan instead of always being in a state of resistance. And you deserve a peaceful, joy-filled life. You deserve it. You deserve it. And you're one step closer by joining me tonight. Thanks for growing with me. I appreciate your time. Have a little more ease and grace for yourself. You deserve it. Love you.